Hey friends, today we have a true story from the Bible. This story starts with a man whose name was Samuel. Now Samuel had been chosen by God and his job was to pick the next king. Samuel knew that there was a family that had lots of brothers and God told him one of those brothers was going to be the next king. So he went to visit and meet the brothers. When he went to say hi, there were seven brothers there. Can you count to seven with me? One brother, two brothers, three brothers, four brothers, five brothers, six brothers, and the seventh brother. So Samuel looked at all the brothers and he saw that they were big and strong, but none of them was the person God had chosen to be king. So Samuel asked, are there any more brothers? Because he knew that one of the brothers was going to be king. There was one more brother who hadn't come home yet. His name was David. Finally, when David came home, Samuel met him and saw that he was really little. He was the youngest of all the brothers. Do you think the littlest one should be the king? Well, God told Samuel that David was the one he had chosen to be the next king. And it wasn't because David was big and strong on the outside like his brothers were. It was because David had a good heart on the inside and he loved God. So Samuel told David that God had big plans for him. He told him that David would be king one day and be in charge of all the people. Just like how God had big plans for David, he also has big plans for you and me. Isn't that awesome? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you made us all so special. I thank you that you have big plans for us. Help us to follow you. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with me. Now let's do our new memory verse together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. And that's from a place in the Bible called Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Shall we say it together again? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Thanks so much for listening to this awesome story with me. I'll see you next time.